Yo, Elliot, my question is in the thou shalt be lesson, you mentioned emotional traits we can take from our parents, things as simple as facial expressions as they make when we are children. This interests me because I've recently recognized and accepted looking at my whole life and I've always been confrontational and know to act out of ang and known to act out of anger. I never understood where this came from and I hate how reactive I can be. I have been using the throning to combat this and it's working. I have, however, become confused searching for the reason behind my anger. Had a great life, loving parents, a strict alpha male father who I'm proud of and has always have been, uh, always have been even to this day. He, however, had a very rough life and came out on top. The only one out of all of his siblings to actually succeed as a man. I know his life was rough in many ways and he has always been very strict and a scary dude. His face alone always looked pissed off even though he's a great man. Could my anger come from this? How do I deal with this uh, if it's not my life experience? That's so funny. It sounds like you and I have a very similar fathers. <laughs> my, your dad and my dad sound pretty much the same. And people used, my dad would be out in the yard. He's a landscaper, not that he's a professional landscaper, but my dad likes working in the yard, gardening and stuff. And I remember when I was a kid growing up, the neighbors would pass by and they see my dad working. My dad always had like a scowl on his face when he's working. He'd be like raking the lawn. He's like, he just got like a mean look on his face. And people used to like, you know, my friends, neighbors and stuff, they would ask me like, why is your dad always mad? I'm like, my dad's not bad, but now I'll look at him and look like he's mad. And I'm like, yeah, it's just the way he looks. And then I remember when I was in high school, people used to say to me, Elliot, why you always look mad? Elliot, why you always look mad? And then it started to, it started to uh, bother me that people thought I was mad. I was like, I'm not mad. That's just the way I look, right? It started to bother me when I was younger, like I was in high school. So then I started smiling all the time. And I became real smiley in my early 20s when I was a personal trainer. And I got pictures of smiley Elliot and just cheesing all over the place. And I made an extra effort to look and act friendly because I know deep down inside, I'm ugly. I'm mean. And so, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about the confrontation and the anger aspect of it yet. But if you look like you're, you're mean, you know, and you're not, well then don't worry about it. I made, I went extra. I went like extra, the extra mile to look nice. And then by the time I turned 40, I was like, what the heck am I doing? By that time I had learned to love my father again, like the right way. You know, we, we tend to think that we're supposed to have mommy love from daddy and it doesn't work that way. And I was a beta male too. And I thought so. And my dad is so alpha that he just didn't get it. Right. Like, All right what do you want me to do? Right? You, this, you, I was being a mama's boy as most men are. And it wasn't until I really understood my father's love, which is a sacrificial love, and it's a it's a logical love. It's not it's not gushy gushy mommy love. I started to have that reconciliation or that atonement with my father. I started to accept my father within me that much more. And guess what happened? I stopped smiling. <laughs> and people ask me all the time now too when they see me on Instagram or whatever or they watch my videos they're like Elliot what happened to you you used to be like a, somebody even commented this the other day some guy was like you used to be so motivational and uplifting and you were a bright star lighting up my day now you're just mean and I'm like no I'm just being a man if you want somebody to brighten up and lighten up your day and to be fun and giddy go kiss your mommy right I'm just being a man, being my father. I've atoned my father. I don't have hangups anymore, and I can allow myself just to be me, right? And sometimes I just look mean, right? If you don't like that, then, get, then go away, right? Like I, I'm not needing validation anymore because once you accept your father, you learn to accept yourself, you don't need validation from people anymore, right? So I don't care. <laughs> uh, but now you, you, so beyond just the look, on your face, you say, could my anger come from his life? And I will start with this. A lot of times, have you ever heard form equals function, right? This is one of the things I learned in like exercise science. Form equals function. They would always say that. The very form of something equals its function. And when I started to learn about bioenergetics and, um, and uh, body psychology and character structure, 
um, Alexander Lone would assert, and you know, and people wouldn't agree with this because you know they got the minds of their mommies that you judge a book by its cover because the cover informs the 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 the, the uh, f form and function informs the function. The form informs the function, and vice versa. The function informs the form, and so if you if you walk around with a scowl, you're going to feel angry. If you walk around with a frown, you're going to feel sad. If you walk around with a smile, you're going to feel happy, right? And there's science behind this. So one of the things I, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm learning myself too. I'm an experimenter just like you guys. I figure these things out and I learn things and I forget things, whatever the case may be. But so I know that if I'm wanting to feel, and so, now I don't always want to feel happy. Just to be completely honest, I don't always want to be perceived as happy. I don't want to. I don't want to feel joyful all the time. Sometimes I just want to be flat, straight. But if I'm noticing that this is becoming a problem, you know what I do? All I do is when I'm praying or when I'm meditating, when I'm just being still. And by doing these things, when you're being still, it imprints itself on you. All I do is curl up the ends of my lips. I might start doing that again. So when I would pray the rosary, I would just, because I do it quietly. And so I'd, make, I'd be willful, and I'd just willfully curl up the sides of my lips. Right? Look at that. Just a tiny little smile there. It's not even a smile. It's just a curling up of the lips. And I can tell you, I already feel lighter. Maybe I should do it more. <laughs> I already feel a little bit nicer. I'm going to start doing that again. I'm going to start doing that again. You should do it too. Just, it's not a smile. It's not putting on like I used to when I was a young beta male. It's not it. It's not it at all. It's simply a movement of the muscles. Just a You make a little bit of effort, right? They say it takes more muscles to frown than it is to smile. Well, my smiling muscles are not that strong because I don't do it so much anymore. But it's not even like a whole face smile. It's just practice it because those muscles are probably weak on you if you're anything like me. I'm, I'm quivering. You can barely even notice it, but I feel it. It's powerful. It was powerful. So there's that. And then, of course, father comes from the word pattern, right? Where we get the word paternity. And you're patterned after your father. We all are. We can resist that pattern. We can adopt that pattern. We can accept that pattern. Uh, but the bottom line is you are your father's pattern. And so your dad was a tough guy. He fought. And so that fight is in you, right? Your dad had to fight to get what he needed. Just like your dad, just like, just like my dad. My dad was the only one of his siblings that made something great of his life. My dad has the best life of all. He's got 12 siblings. A bunch of them are dead now. But he had 12 siblings. He had the best life because my dad's a fighter. And my dad is, and, he, and that's why he had that scowl on his face. Because he wanted something. He was fighting with the world. It makes things good. So... What I did discover about my father, though, and I dis once I discovered this about my father, I was able to rest in this for myself. My father has a lot of energy, and he, it might come out as sounding angry, right? It might come out as sounding confrontational, but my dad's actually very cool on the inside. <laughs> he has this thing where he'll say, I might make you angry, I might piss you off, but I'm okay. And you could see that because as a kid, he used to piss me off and make me angry. And I would get emotional just like a little beta male. My dad would say something and he'd be like rough when he's saying it. So I would take it and i get all bent out of shape. But then two minutes later, I'm looking at my dad and it's like, that guy just looks, he's not even angry. He's just there. My mom would say this all the time too because my mom's emotional. I get more, I have, just by nature, I have a little bit more of my mom's way in me and that, like, you know, actually both of my parents, they both got a lot of energy, both my parents. Um, but my mom isn't as cool as my dad. 
And my mom and dad could like, you know, they could be going through something stressful and they're like, you know, and they don't fight, but they wrestle with each other verbally. <laughs> it's funny to watch them. My mom shit tests my dad all the time and my dad knows how to handle it. They, they're a great couple, but they, part of what makes them a great couple is they both got energy. So they wrestle with each other. There's like one of those, those wrestling love with each other. And it's funny to watch, but my mom, because she gets more emotional and, and like anxious about it. She got this joke where she's like, uh, you know, me and my your dad could be dealing with something, uh, you know, it's tough. And then it's time to go to bed and he'll just close his eyes and two minutes later he's snoring. He's like, I, and then she's got her eyes wide open and she's like nervous. I'm like, I can't go to sleep. This man is knocked out. So one of the things I will offer you also is that it is, it is the... Is not so much the set of the scowl, but the disposition of the heart, right? I used to think that that was anger, but it was just enthusiasm. And I know that in myself now too, and my children have a hard time with it because my children will have some conversations and I talk loud and I'm charismatic and I want to make my point, but I'm not really angry. <laughs> I'm not really angry, right? I could back off for a moment and, okay, all right, well, you know, I could switch gears. It's just my energy. And so, you know, I know I'm not, you know, I'm not thoroughly answering your question. Could my anger come from his life? I'm, I'm inviting you to not even see it as anger, but as an energy. And energy is all neutral. Energy, and when I say energy, it's nothing mystical. It's emotion. Energy moving in the body. It's movement in the body. It's how you're moving. Right? How you're built. You're built a certain way and you move a certain way. Form equals function. Don't judge it so much as anger and you may find that you're not angry. You just got a, a RBF. Like Alan says. <laughs> you just got an RBF. Yeah. And so if you start to disassociate with your RBF and disassociate meaning don't judge the energy in your body and just see yourself as a person with a lot of energy like your dad probably was you and you stop judging you'll stop resisting and you'll and if you stop resisting you'll have you'll have less angst and you could just let yourself be the whole point here even in this program and the whole point of this program is not to even change you i call it king transformation it's not even about to change you it's about learning how to let yourself be accepting yourself as you are not as a loser but as the best you and accepting yourself as you are a lot of times means accepting this energy as I am. He says, I come off aggressive when I speak to people. Yeah, you do. Just like I do. I come off aggressive when I talk like this, man. That's why I do better on video. People like me on video better than they like me in person. <laughs> you guys like me better than the people in my life. Because it's easy to deal with somebody. If you're just watching the video, you can shut me off. You can turn down the volume. You could just unsubscribe if you don't like the way I'm talking. But the people in my life, I come up, when I come off this way, they got to deal with me and it's difficult for them. So maybe you just need to start making videos for your family, right? Make videos and say, hey, uh, I got something I want to share with you guys. I made a video and send it to them. And that way they can, they can, they can pause it. They can take a break, <laughs> right? Or they can, they can comment and get it off their chest. Make a YouTube video, send it to your family. Let them comment and then come back later and they'll be all right. Well, I got it off my chest. But I don't think you're actually an angry guy, but you can make yourself angry by associating with, you know, the, 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 the emotion, the energy in your body. I hope that makes sense, dude, done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness business and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.